Well, I'll turn it over to you to introduce our next segment on the 12 best active Philly athletes list and uh, how you want to roll these lists out. And I, and I got to say, you know my list. I don't know your list. I just already know that you don't know what you're talking about. Oh, we're, we're going to have some fun with this. By the way, folks, uh, before we put our lists out there, I should have done this like five minutes ago. Give us your top three active Philadelphia athletes. They have to be on an active roster of one of the big four teams. We don't know soccer, so don't put a soccer player in there. So does it uh, have to be your best or your favorite? Or... Well, that's the thing. It's not your favorite. It's who you think the very best players slash athletes are right now in Philadelphia pro sports among the Eagles, Flyers, Sixers, and Phillies. So uh, a lot of candidates, obviously. Maybe not so many for the Flyers, but uh, uh, yeah. So give us your top three, folks, and we'll we'll check those comments as we go along. But here's the deal. This was a big discussion topic last week on 94 WIP, and I mentioned it in passing on our show last week when Bill wasn't here. You were off traveling, and I figured it was something that you and I could have some fun with this week. Here's the thing. Most people do top 10 lists. But the WIP afternoon guys, Ike, Spike, and our buddy Jack, uh, decided to do one better and have a top 11 list. Kind of weird, top 11. Well, with that in mind, we decided we're going to up the ante and make it an even dozen. So top 12 active Philadelphia players for you and me, Bill. And I actually just put mine together late last night slash early this morning. It was like about 1 a.m. that I did this, believe it or not. And hopefully it'll be interesting to see how our lists compare and how our listeners think we did with the list. But before we get to ours, Bill, I want to show you, uh, this is the WIP afternoon hosts and Howard Eskin, how they did it. And note that Howard went 1 to 11, whereas everybody else went 11 to 1. So we had Bryce Harper from Ike Reese, Bryce Harper from Jack Ritz, uh, number one. Spike Eskin went with Joel Embiid, number one. Bryce Harper, number two. Howard Eskin, Lane Johnson, number one. Tyrese Maxey, number three. Joel Embiid all the way down at number eight. Who the hell would ever put Joel Embiid number eight or lower? That's just unfathomable, Bill Furman. Am I right? You know, you know what's funny about that, Chet? Me and Howard Eskin pretty much don't agree on anything, and that list <laughs> looks pretty similar. I know. Can you believe that? <laughs> it looks pretty similar. You know, I, and, and looking at this real quick, uh, I see yeah. Saquon Barkley. I, I couldn't include him. I could. Uh, he hasn't. Well, he hasn't played yet. So no, he he's, on the, he's on the Philadelphia team. He's going to have uh, – well, he's a, a big, favorite, but I mean, not, he's a best one. Well, we didn't, I'll, I'll we haven't seen him when you see what I did with my list. But uh, I mentioned the WIP thing, and here's their final list. Now, what they did was in, in compiling their top 11 was it was 50% from all the WIP hosts who put theirs in and 50% from the listeners. And the WIP slash listeners uh, came up with Bryce Harper, number one, Joel Embiid, number two, A.J. Brown, number three, Jalen Hurts, number four, Zach Wheeler, number five, followed by Maxie, Lane Johnson, Ranger Suarez, Devontae Smith, Aaron Nola, and Trey Turner. So no Flyers on the list, no JT Real Muto on their list, certainly no other Sixers, maybe a couple other Phillies like, I don't know, Kyle Schwarber, but no. So that was the official top 11 from WIP and the listeners. So you ready for you and me, Bill? Yeah, let's do it. All right, we're going to put the list up, and then you and I are going to talk about it. Let me. Did we get any comments yet from anybody else? We we do. We got Denny. Uh, hey, Denny says Maxie, Lane Johnson, and AJ Brown. Uh, Joe says Embiid, Harper, and Lane Johnson. Jane says Maxie, Harper, and Ranger Suarez, and that's all we got so far. So here's. Uh, you and me, Bill, and boy, we are going to have a good discussion about this. I think. Hide. Okay. <laughs> Put Jane back up there. Cover up that number one. Are you kidding me? Bill, I have him beat number one oh. and Harper, Johnson, Wheeler. You have Harper, number one, Johnson, Wheeler. So your one, two, three are my two, three, four. The big difference is I have him beat number one. You had Embiid at number 10. And, you know, let me just say this, Bill. I think that if Larry Anderson were here, Larry would probably say, "What is yeah. wrong with him? What is well, wrong with him?" You might want to you might <laughs> want to call Howard Eskin because uh, <laughs> me, him and I are on the same page with Embiid. Uh, 
we're, we're, you know, it's the same old story. We know he's a great player. We know he's done nothing. That's what we're talking about. We're talking about great player. We're talking about no, who we're is not. the best. Player. Okay, let me let me speak, Bill. Here's my defense of Joel Embiid. In his career with the Sixers, 28 points per game, 11 rebounds per game, one MVP in the running for MVP like three of the years. He was the favorite for MVP this year until he got hurt. He still today, wake up, Furman. He still today is the all-time leader in points per minute. 0.87 points per minute. He is ahead of Luka Doncic and some Michael Jordan guy who was number three. Will Chamberlain much further down on the list, by the way. He's dominant when he's in there. Yes, he gets hurt, but that's not what this is about. It's who is the best player, okay? And I think Embiid is the number one player in Philly. Spike Eskin agrees with me. Howard does not. So apparently the brains went to the younger generation of Eskins. If we're talking about talent or are we talking about winning? And being the whole package. We're not talking about winning. What has Bryce Harper won besides two MVPs? How many two MVPs? Trophies? Yeah, and and Bead has won as in the running very much for several others. In Tell the me running. One. How in many championships? Running. None. In, in the running. That means nothing. <laughs> Move on. Let's put it up again. That's um, one bad pick for you. I have I have uh, Barkley at number eleven simply because. I think he's going to be huge for the Eagles. And in his career with the Giants, the stinking Giants, he's averaged 99 yards per game, 70-plus rushing yards per game, 28-plus uh, receiving yards per game. So 99 yards from scrimmage per game for Saquon Barkley. And I think it's going to be even higher with the Eagles. That's why I have him at number 11. Well, I, and I, and I, putting... could, I could go with that. I could go with that if, if it would have actually happened once. So. Well, he uh, is. I, I think a, he's going to be great too. Right now. Ranger Suarez and Aaron Nola, I, you know, they're both quality pitchers. I couldn't put Ranger Suarez higher than ten because it's mostly this year that he's doing what he's doing. You and have that's Trey why, Turner. That's why he didn't list. get on my list at all, Ranger. He was. Definitely I couldn't put Trey Turner on the list because Trey Turner was disappointing last year. He had a good two months this year before six weeks this year before he got hurt. So I couldn't put Turner on there. But Joel Embiid is the best player in Philadelphia, Bill. Sorry. Uh, well, I'm going to disagree with you. For one, look at it this way, and yeah. I'll go with my Lane Johnson pick. Yeah. Lane Johnson is the best, the best at his position in the National Football League. Not the yeah. best yeah. in Philadelphia. He's the best in his position in the National Football League. That makes him better just on that standing alone and to that, yeah to that end i could see why howard eskin put him at number one and why the other guys uh have him all in the top six uh spike had him at number three jack fritz at number five ike reese a football former football player had him at number six so yeah i could see that and we didn't even mention jalen hurts uh hurts was anywhere from Two to 11. You know, Jack Fritz is not a huge Hertz fan. That's why he was at number 11 for him. Everybody else had uh, Hertz either ninth or fourth or second. So Eskin had him number two, which is way too high. Howard Eskin. So. Yeah, I'm, I'm not uh, I'm not wanting to give free passes. I'm not good at that. But <laughs> Dennis uh, Malloy checking in. But uh, I think <laughs> – I think – I want to see more of Hertz. I I think he's going to be good again. I, I think whatever that whole disaster was last year, yeah, I, I'm going to give Hertz a little bit of a pass until you know new coordinator, new situation. Let's see how this thing plays out. So I, I couldn't Joe, put him. Joe Hal gets it. Joe Hal gets it. We're talking about raw talent and ability of what they've done on the court or on the field. So yeah, okay. Well, you're wrong, Joe, and you're wrong, Chet. <laughs> You'll never, you'll never win a championship. I stand yeah, behind up, it, boy. and it isn't changing. One more thing about Embiid. Another reminder that last season the Sixers were thirty-one and eight with him in the lineup, sixteen and twenty-seven without him in the lineup, which tells you he's pretty darn good. So no, it's they're pretty darn bad without him. Without him, yeah, yeah. that's the difference because they build a team. They build a so team a player. that stinks. The team stinks. Do you oh. watch the NBA Finals? Do you think Not Joel Embiid could go out there and play with Luke, Luke Doncic and uh, Joker and those guys? No. Yeah, I do. I, do. No. I, I would love to see them get the chance. 
the Sixers <laughs> aren't beating those teams, and he ain't carrying Probably them. Not. And it's Probably just, not. It's just the way it is. Who else you got on that list that uh, I can make fun of your list? You and me? There you go. Uh, A.J. Brown, good. You, you got that one right. Jalen, Maxi, Devontae. Yeah. You have Landon Dickerson. I, I don't watch the offensive linemen as close as you do because you're an old old line guy. So I, I know Dickerson's supposedly very good, but I couldn't tell you how good he is. Well, I, and I went with Landon Dickerson because in his two full seasons, he's been named to the Pro Bowl both times yeah. uh, by his constituents. So I'm putting him in there. I actually, th- in my very first list, I had Jordan Mulata in there too. And yeah. I moved, but I moved him out, but I left Landon in there. That's for sure. Pretty interesting. So, uh, yeah, you were wrong about, you know, number one, but it's okay. I was okay. pretty much wrong about nothing on that list. That was easy. <laughs> and uh, and, I knew, you, and, and I knew you were going to be goofy on it, Bede, because your your <laughs> man crush. Is you were far more goofier than, than me, number, number 10. Come on, Furman. I know you don't like the guy, but I don't don't try no. to be like Howard Eskin just because you have a personal vendetta against someone. I don't have Come on. against him. He just ain't going to win nothing. He hasn't. That's not, not what the to. list was about. It he's was not, about he's not as bad as 25, but uh, <sighs> he ain't far off. Win me something. Um, Show up and play every night. That you don't even have list? to. You don't even have to win. Show up and play every night, and then when he's healthy, he does. 